Hello, good morning. Welcome sa ating skills training, part 2 ng NDO, teaching you the basics of the business. This time, ang pag-uusapan naman natin is more on skills, then how to do the business. Alright, so again, same advice, gumawa ka ng notebook, prepare it because there's going to be a lot of information. Pero itong skills training na to is even further divided into two. Okay? Yung isa is more on inviting and that is on a separate video. Pero this time, ang pag-uusapan natin is ABC, Prospecting, PPS, 3 Business Center. Alright, so let's get started. Before anything else, I want you to realize that your only mission in USANA is to educate and inform. Kung ang treatment mo sa tao is gusto mo siyang bentahan, makikita sa iyo yan. And if they sense na ang habol mo lang is profit, ang habol mo lang is benta, they will have a negative response sa offer mo. That is why adopt our mindset. Our only mission is to educate and inform. Kapag na-educate ko na, kapag na-inform ko na, mission accomplished. Hindi na kailangan bentahan. I don't care kung bumili sa or not. Pag magdadala ka ng guest sa office, if you introduce them to me and I meet them and I explain you sana to them, take note, hindi ko yan pipilitin. Kasi ayaw ng tao ng Pilipine, pinipilit. Kaya nga, I would advise you to adopt the same mindset. If ever kakausap tayo ng tao dito, it's not to recruit and not to sell. We won't force them to buy or join. It's going to be a very comfortable experience for them. Hindi natin sila kukulitin. So adopt the same mindset. Your only mission is to educate and inform. Alright? Yan. So basic skills training. The first thing that you need to understand is that you need to start prospecting. Remember, ang kausap natin sa Yusana ay parating tao. And tao ang inventory mo. Ang tao dapat dumadami sa inventory mo. Dapat yung listahan mo dumadagdag. We have to list down all the people who can help us build this business. Pero take note, ililista mo muna. There is no need now. For example, ay kasi si ganito hindi magyuyusana yan. Ay si ganito hindi niya naman kailangan yung product. Hindi pa natin iisipin yon. Your assignment is to list down all the people you know and put them on paper. Okay? You must not prejudge kasi minsan alam nyo, ganito yan. Minsan yung akala mong hindi magjo-join kasi walang pera, hindi marunong, hindi mar magaling magsalita, sila pa yung nagjo-join. Minsan yung tao na may pera na talaga, sa alam mo, laki-laki ng kita, and you know that he needs the products because he's sick. Sila pa yung hindi nagjo-join minsan. So do not prejudge. We never know who will be successful and willing to do the business with us. Magugulat ka talaga minsan. This is very important in our business and we cannot function if you do not do prospecting. Hindi tatakbo talaga yung yusana. And dito sa unang-unang pinaka-basic skill, minsan dyan pa sumasablay ang mga tao. Because I will give you an assignment. Ito yan. Most people bibigyan namin ng assignment and still they don't do it. One year, two years, three years, wala pa rin. It's very hard to market if you don't know whom to talk to. Kaya kailangan tong prospect list. So how should your prospect list look like? Make this list as extensive as possible, reaching more than 200 people. Ngayon, tatanggalin ko yung slide and I want to show you yung prospect list ko and how it looks like. I have a digital prospect list here with me and of course eto, kung magte-text ka sa akin kagad I will show you right now no, na habang pinapanood mo to if you text me Coach Mix, kailangan ko ng format ng prospect list mo I can send it to you as long as ite-text mo ko. So this is how a typical prospect list look like looks like, sorry sabi ko nga, informal lang to minsan nagkakamali ako sa grammar ko and that's okay that's not the point Okay, ang point dito is matutulan nyo. So, your list should be as extensive as this. Makikita nyo. Ayan. Maraming nakasulat. ba? Hmm. Kasi ito yung inventory natin. And take note, I only made this this January. This is a new prospect list. Of new people that I want to talk to. Okay? So, this is how it should look like. Every day, ina-update namin yan. Every day, meron kami kinakausap. Okay? 
So this is how it should look like. Ngayon, i-discuss ko sa inyo ano ba yung format na yan. Ito yan. For now, since 200 people, it will take some time. I want you to list down top 20 names of the people who you think will be excellent in this business and prioritize them. Coach Mix, paano ko sila ipaprioritize? Say, for example, you write 20 names. Etong format na to, tong CMAN, ayan yun. Credit card, money, authority, and needs. And actually, meron pang isang letter yan, yung tinatawag nilang accessibility. Si Mana. Alright, so hindi tignan mo yung akin, yung prospect list ko. Now, scroll it upwards, makikita nyo yan dito sa merong mga XXX. Ayan no, si Mana. For example, si Sir Dennis. I know he has a credit card. I know he has money. I know he has the authority kasi second engineer siya. He has the needs for the product and he's very accessible. So he's one of my top prospects. Okay, thankfully si Sir Dennis ay nagpay in na. Pero, this is how you should classify them. For example, si Lloyd Barrientos. I don't know if he has credit card. I don't know if he has money. So hindi ko siya masyadong, hindi ko siya masyadong finofocus. Alright, then you can have additional columns depende dito sa akin yung makikita nyo to sa mouse ko, itong medium and dyan ko malalaman kung paano ko na-contact. Relationship to remind me kung sino ba itong tao na to saan ko siya na-meet Remarks, kung kumusta, kailan ko siya na-contact last time ano yung status, for example, kay this for your pay-in. And next action, I should when should I follow them up? Yung ibang tao na sa barko, kailan sila bababa? So dito ko sinusulat. Make it as extensive as possible. If you can even add more columns, more information. If you can even add pictures, mas maganda. Alright? So this is that how it should look like. Kasi without something like this, your business is not going to function. Ang hirap kung wala kang, kung wala kang prospect list. Okay? So let's move on. What can help you out? Alright, creating your prospect list. Pwede nyo gamitin tong memory jogger ko. Write down your friends, your family, your relatives. Huwag ka muna mamili, sabi ko nga, isulat mo lang. Classmates, elementary, onwards, club members, teammates, workmates, churchmates. Okay, so, eto. You can post a video, make the top 20, take a picture of it, and show it to me. Okay? Pakita mo sa akin. Pag sinend mo sa akin yan, lalo ako maniniwala sa iyo na talagang worthy kang umaman. Remember these simple assignments. You might think na ah, napakalit na bagay. Pwede ko naman gawin bukas. I, I guarantee you, if you delay it, you delay it forever. I have seen a lot of distributors and they're struggling. Sabihin nila ang hirap mag-invite. Kasi paano ba naman? One year na wala pang prospect list. So I advise that you do it now. Start with 20 names, post the video, send me a text message, coach mix, tapos ko na. Top 20 ko. Alright? Also, kung tabi mo ako, sabihin mo sa akin. Just do the prospect list. Gayahin mo yung format. Again, pwede mong i-post yung video. Papakita ko sa'yo, ito yung format uli. Okay? So, sakto dito habang pinapakita ko yung format. Then, you can post it. And then, may something like this in your notebook or if you have a tablet for your powerpoint or your excel yan all right so po post ko muna yung video or post mo yung video tapos gawin mo yan next thing itong a b c a stands for advisor okay b stands for bridge and c stands for client nakakaroon lang ng konting error itong powerpoint ko sandali lang Okay, let's try it again. Yon. A, B, C. A stands for advisor. B stands for bridge. C stands for client. So, sino ako? Kasi ako yung Ruby director, usually, especially if you're just starting out, I would be the advisor. You're the bridge. And syempre, yung guest mo, yung client natin. Okay? So, what's your job? Your job is to bridge me to the, to the client. Kakausapin mo yung client at i a b c mo ko or i edify mo ko or i-build up mo ko sa client kasi otherwise hindi makikinig sa akin yan for example dinala mo yung guest mo pinakilala mo sa akin oy coach mix ito nga pala si Brian Brian ito tropa ko yan si Mix do you think he's going to listen to me hindi niya ako kilala he has no idea who this person is yung kakausapin niya do you think 
bibilib sa akin yan. You know, during graduations, meron silang ginagawang ceremony. Uh, but before mag-talk yung main speaker, they would always introduce them as he is the founder of blah blah blah, a general manager of blah blah blah, valedictorian, blah blah blah. Alam nyo kung bakit? Because they want you to listen. If you don't know who this person is, why would you even listen to him? So, ang job mo is to bridge me to your client, edify me, build me up. So, for example, ibibuild up ko si Coach Fudge, ang aking commander. Ikaw yung guest. Ito ang sasabihin ko sa'yo. Alam mo, Brian, ito papakausap ko sa'yo, si Coach Fudge, ang lupit nito, pre. He's, she is a Ruby Director sa kumpanya na to. Alam mo ba ang Ruby Director? Kalahating milyon kada buwan ang kinikita. Malupit yun. Eh, ang dami na natulungan nun. Pero alam mo, sobrang busy nun ni Ma'am Fudge. Kasi ito ah, nurse siya by profession before. Pero imagine mo, dapat pupunta na ng Canada yun. Pero hindi niya tinuloy para gawin yung negosyo niya. Imagine, ang laki na nang kita. But this person has a vision may vision siya sa buhay niya. Alam mo, sabi niya nga sa akin, hindi lang $5,000 ang gusto kong kitain kasi yun yung offer sa kanya sa Canada. Ang gusto kong kitain is yung enough para matupad lahat ng pangarap ko and mawala ang problema ko sa pera and I will not find that abroad. I will find it here through you sana. Eh, nang sabi niya. Kaya kami, bilib na bilib kami, tapos trainer na din yan. Uy, friend ah, si Coach Fudge, sobrang busy niyan. Sobrang thankful ako na nabigyan tayo ng oras. Friend, huwag mo kang papahiya. Yung cellphone mo, itago mo. Huwag kang magtitext-text doon, nakakahiya. Binigyan lang ako ng oras noon, friend. Okay lang ba makinig ka sa kanya? Okay, kasi para senior na namin, direct, direct, Ruby Director yun eh. Nakakahiya naman, huwag mo kang papahiya. Ah. So pagpunta natin doon, makinig ka mabuti. Ha, mabilis lang naman yung presentation. So that is an example of an edification. Okay, you make sure na pagkakausapin ko ang guest mo, na edify mo ko. Na edify mo yung coach mo, yung upline mo. Kasi otherwise hindi makikinig at pag hindi nakinig na text 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 yun, sino may kasalanan? Syempre yung bridge kasi hindi mo kami na edify ng maayos. So if you want your guests to listen, dapat ma-bridge mo kami. At the same time, eto, since nandito na rin tayo sa ABC, ang gusto kong gawin nyo kapag may guest kayo is yung tinatawag nila na open mind. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Before nyo papakausap sa akin, kailangan walang pressure. Sasabihin nyo sa guest nyo, Uy, siya nga pala itong papakita ko sa inyo, depende to sa iyo ha. Walang pilitan to ha. Tingnan mo lang kasi syempre, depende naman sa tao yan. Pero kung pwede mo kung refer or marlay mo in 10 years from now, gusto mo mag-business, edi at least alam mo open mind ang tawag dyan because people do not want to be pushed kung kaya mong i-open mind as soon as possible para makinig do it I think it's part of ABC bago mo pakausap sa akin the person should be receptive to information alright so paano bang gagawin mo ganito yan pagdadalhin mo yung guest mo sa office inform your upline you have a guest at least a day before so gusto mong pakausap sa akin kailangan the day before, alam ko na may guest ka kasi otherwise, I cannot fit it to my schedule masyadong erratic ang mga schedule namin so pag dala-dala mo na siya, itutour mo dalin mo sa 24th floor okay, dito tayo sa step na to and dalin mo sa 9th floor pakita mo sa kanya sino yung founder showed him the reception sabihin mo, oh, she is our receptionist and this is our product claims area this is our IT hub iikot mo and you have to be professional about it kasi kung ano yung mga sasabihin mo ayun yung magiging impression niya find your upline or cross line to open mind kung wala ako dun maghanap ka ng extreme sabihin mo coach pwede bang pa open mind alam na nila yung gagawin nila kasi kung nahihirapan kang i-open mind extreme ang gagawa niyan para sa'yo then of course hanap na kayo ng isang pwesto present the product present the compensation and find someone to do the closing but remember pag may guest ka never ever ever use your cell phone huwag na huwag ka magsa cell phone and never leave them huwag mong iiwanan sabog yung ABC natin dun pag may guest ka kailangan katabi mo okay so after the presentation at kilinosan ng upline if a follow up mo na at pag nag pay in papanood mo tong video na to or you yourself kung leader ka na do the presentation and then include them to the extreme training system and then repeat pa ulit ulit lang pa ulit ulit and eventually you will get your results by the way kung magpe-present ka kailangan ipopwesto mo yung guest mo na nakaharap sa pader 
uulitin ko ang guest mo sa upuan, sa table, humanap ka ng pwesto kung saan yung guest mo nakaharap sa bader. Bakit? Para walang distractions kasi magulo yan. Okay? Kung nga rin nakaharap siya sa salamin, lahat ng taong dumadaan nakikita niya na didistract siya. Alright? So what are the goals for the month? Patapos na tayo kasi mas mahaba dito yung inviting. The goals for the month are unang-una PPS and 3BC. Promise, sabi ko nga, if you want to become a Ruby director like us, hit the PPS bonus, hit your directorship. Okay? Yan. So, ano ba yung requirement natin for PPS? Let's start with eto. Number one, minimum of four new distributors. Okay? 1,600 points of personal direct sponsor all within 56 days. To reach this bonus, uulitin ko, bonus siya. So, ibig sabihin, pwede mong hindi kunin. Alright? Pwede mo talagang hindi kunin yan. Pero kasi sayang. It is one of the biggest bonuses that you can get from USANA. So, how do you get it? Una-una, pag nakuha mo yan, may 20,000 ka. Okay? So, how do you do it? For new distributors. Some of them can be users only. So, for example, kukunin lang yung 24,000, yung 300 points. Gusto lang gumamit. Counted yun. Pero kailangan apat ang nakaregister na na-sponsor mo. Either be it user or business partner. Okay? So, apat. And it has to be 1,600 points. So, for example, merong apat na nag-pay in ng 200 points. 800 lang yun. Hindi ka pa rin pasok. Okay? Kasi ang requirement natin, 1,600. 200 points is yung 17,000. 300 points is yung 24,000. 500 points is yung 40,000. And this has to be within 56 days. But remember, work expands to the time allotted for its completion. So kung nga if you give yourself 3 weeks, tapos yan in 3 weeks, trust me. If you give yourself 2 weeks, tapos yan in 2 weeks. But if you give yourself 56 days, 56 days matatapos yan. Ang hirap mag-cram, trust me. I finished my PPS within 3 weeks and we became gold director within 5 months. Gusto mo mabilis na resulta, finish it immediately because that sets the pace for your team. Kaya nga pace setter. If you say platinum pace setter and you did it 3 weeks, I assure you within 5 months, 6 months, gold ka. Basta tuloy-tuloy ka. Alright? So next goal is 3BC. Upgrade. If kinuha mo is 3BC na, then you have no problems. Good job kasi focus ka na dito sa PPS mo. Or PPPS to be exact. Okay? Kasi yung PP, it's wrong. No? Kato, yung PPS na yan, mali yan. PPPS, tatlong P. Okay, so ano naman itong 3 busy requirements? Kung gusto mo maging 3 business center, kung kinuha mo yung 23 or 24,000, dagdag ka lang ng 3 essentials, 3 busy ka na nun. Kasi ang requirement lang yan, sa total na pinurchase mo, is 400 points. And this has to be done within one month. Okay, so PPS or Premier Platinum Pay Center, PPPS, and 3 business center upgrade. Ano po yung benefits pag naka PPPS ka? Lifetime 15% matching bonus to all your direct sponsors. So imagine mo, if your business partner earns a million a month, then you earn 150,000 forever. Alam nyo lahat ng bills namin, PPPS lang ang nagbabayad eh. This is the biggest bonus para sa akin and one that you should never miss. Madali lang naman siyang kunin. Kailangan mo lang mag-sacrifice. With great achievement, requires great sacrifice. Ulitin ko, great achievement requires great sacrifice. Magsasakripisyo ka lang na onte. Two months lang naman eh. Two months mo lang ahatawin but you will benefit from it forever. This is a very, very big bonus and it will help you move your business forward faster. Mas mabilis ang kitaan kung PPPS ka. So, ang suggest ko sa'yo, i-focus mo lahat ng energy mo to get it. Because otherwise, sayang na sayang na sayang. We've been enjoying PPPS. Right now, we're Ruby Director. Marami kami mga directors, civil directors na meron kami PPPS bonus. And trust me, sobra sarap. Just because we sacrificed at first para makuha kagad namin siya. I would recommend to you that you fast forward your learnings. Paano mo makukuha to? Mag-training ka. Kasi you can't earn if you don't learn. Pag wala kang alam. And one thing to hit your PPPS fast Ang ginawa ko nun is pinag-aralan ko kagad mabilis. Okay, the work expands to the time allotted for its completion. Kung matagal mo ibibigay yung oras, yung limit mo sa sarili mo, matagal mo rin matatapos. You give yourself one month. 
if you give yourself one month i guarantee you it's finished before one month all right so the best thing to do is finish it within a month sabi ko nga, and you get 15 percent matching bonus if your business partner is also achieves pps status kaya nga ganito eh hindi ka mag earn ng 15 percent kung ang business partner mo hindi rin makuha tong business bonus na ito so your assignment is to learn this as fast as possible so that you can teach all the skills necessary to do the business so that they also have a better chance in getting the PPPS bonus. Pag-aralan mo na ng mabilis. Huwag ka na magsayang ng oras. Sabi ko nga dun sa Power of Five, if you reach level 2, tapos ka na. Ang lupit na noon. PPPS ka, tapos yung downline mo, PPPS. Siguro may 80 to 100,000 ka na income if you reach level 2. So work for it. Tapusin mo yung PPPS mo. Ay, sobrang sarap yan pag natapos mo. Alright, so assignments. Ito, create your initial top 20 prospect list. And that will take you 10 minutes. Eventually, create a prospect list of 200 people. Ito yan. Alam mo paano ako mabibilib sa'yo. You finish this. Once you you watch the video, tapusin mo kagad yung 200 people prospect list, I will be very impressed. And I know you're dedicated. Kasi napaka simple lang. Isang oras lang ng buhay mo yan. And this will have long and very deep impacts in your life. Try inviting. No, wag muna ito. Sorry. Scratch muna yan kasi meron tayong isa pang training session para sa inviting alone. Read the BDS product information para meron kang general idea kung ano yung produkto mo and accomplish the getting started today handbook. Okay, so that's it for our training. Um, the next part is yung inviting which I think is the gateway skill to network marketing, the most important one. So, stick around. Pagkatapos nito, just finish up the assignments and then we will start inviting. Thank you for giving me your time. I hope nag-enjoy ka kahit mabilis lang yung second part. But I assure you, if you put these skills to the test, okay, test yourself, test it out, gumawa ka ng prospect list mo, do it, apply it, I'm sure malayo ang mararating yan. So I'll see you around. Thank you for giving your time. God bless and see you next time.